In this lesson, we will look at a few of TypeScript options that control desired JavaScript runtime support. We will look at the target option, then the lib option, and finally look at the recommended polyfill setup to ensure the greatest runtime compatibility. So let's go. We start off with the blank project where we have the tsconfig, the input TypeScript source code, and the transpile JavaScript code open within our IDE. The options we'll be looking at go into the compiler options section within the tsconfig. The first option we will cover is the target option. The key responsibility of this option is to determine the syntactic features that need to be transpiled by TypeScript. Let's look at it in action by setting it to ES5. If we use an ES6 feature like const and error functions, TypeScript will transpile these to ES5 features like var and function expressions. Despite the generated JavaScript, TypeScript will check our code at compile time. For example, it will not allow us to reassign to a const variable. Now, if we up the target to ES6, the const and the error gets transpiled as is into the output JavaScript because these are features that are supported by ES6 runtimes. In addition to syntactic transformations, by default, target also changes what runtime API features we can use. For example, target ES6 allows us to use the promise API within our code. Notice that TypeScript is transpiling this code without any errors. Now, if we change the target to ES5, not only does it change the syntactic transformations of const to var and arrows to functions, but it also changes the availability of APIs within our code. So we can no longer use promise and you can see an error in the IDE. Now, what if we want to maintain this transpiling of syntactic features while still being allowed to use the latest APIs, for example, promise? That's where the second option called lib comes in. Lib allows you to control the runtime library features independent of the target option. So if we want to transpile the syntactic features to ES5, we leave the target as ES5. And now to use the runtime library features of ES6 like promises, we add ES6 to the TypeScript lib option. And now the errors on promise go away and we still get the const and the error transformations in the output JavaScript. Now the next thing worth considering is that most likely your ES5 JavaScript browser doesn't provide these modern lib features like promises. So when you play around with the lib option, adding these features to TypeScript's brain, you will most likely need to use polyfills to add these features to your JavaScript runtime. Now the recommended polyfill for all modern JavaScript is CodeJS. Setting it up is a two-step process. First, we install CodeJS from NPM by running npm i core-js. The second step is to import it at the top of your application entry point. This ensures that these features are patched into or polyfilled for all JavaScript runtimes before any of your application code executes. Now you can also import individual features from Core.js, but for the greatest browser compatibility, you can just import the main module as we have done here. If you are curious about all the runtime features that you can use with Core.js and TypeScript, there is a compatibility table that I will link to in the description. You can see in this compatibility table that Core.js polyfills all of the promise APIs that came with ES6. Now to recap, target allows syntactic transformation control, lib allows runtime library type definition support, and polyfills allow runtime use of these library APIs in our old JavaScript environments. And that's all for this lesson. Smash that like button and subscribe for more content like this. And I will see you in the next one.